welcome to the National Youth Disability Conference. My name is Jen Morris and I'll be your MC for the next two days, so you're going to be hearing a lot of my voice, fortunately or unfortunately. Um, I am the Human Rights Officer at the Youth Disability Advocacy Service, which is also known as WIDAS, so you might hear us referring to it as that throughout the day. First of all, I'd like to start uh, with a welcome to country. I'd like to begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land in which we meet, the Wurundjeri people, and pay respect to their elders, past and present. So as I said, I'm working with White Ass at the moment. I'm actually relatively new to the disability field in terms of working there. Um, and from the start, uh, I realised that working in disability, you learn one thing very quickly. Disability is drowning in acronyms. <laughs> ISP, SSG, ILP, DSR, my head was going to explode the first week I started this job. So you'll probably be hearing a lot of acronyms over the next few days as well. So I'll give you one warning based on my experience. Beware the dangers of Googling acronyms. Consider this. Say I tell you, which is true, that I am the HRO of WIDAS speaking to the NYDC. Google it and you'll learn that I am the high-risk operator of the Young Driver Attitude Survey speaking to the New York downtown clowns. I also encourage you not to confuse me with the harassment restraining order of the Youth Drug and Alcohol Service speaking at the Northern Yorkshire Dog Show. <laughs> so hopefully these two days will be a little bit more than just an acronym fest. Uh, I'm very proud to say that this conference is the first ever national conference for young people with disabilities in Australia. And we're very, very glad that we got this going. And I did a bit of research and I found out last week, Melbourne, uh, this lovely city we're in, played host to the 60th, yes, the 60th ever International Congress of Space Medicine. Uh -huh. So if the world can dedicate 60 conferences to discussing the 448 people who've ever been into space, imagine how much we as young people with disabilities have to say and imagine the things that we can do with our very own conference and beyond. I urge you to make the most of it and put those space medicine specialists to shame. But before we get into things, I'd just like to share a few housekeeping bits and pieces with you. So, let's work and see how we go. Right, registration desk, you will have all discovered this morning, was open from 8.45 and that will be the case tomorrow. It's located in this area, which I will now be referring to as the pre-function foyer, immediately opposite the main entrance, and it will be staffed during all the conference breaks if you need any help. Now, see the sexy red sash I'm wearing? Uh, this is for staff and volunteers who are here to help you. So if you have any questions, please feel free to come up and grab us by the sash. Uh, now, uh, despite what the signs say, there are no disabled toilets in the building, because thankfully all our accessible toilets are working just fine. <laughs> So, there are some upstairs and downstairs, um, and we have also provided uh, any of the various slings and things that are required. Hopefully, we'll be able to work that out. There's some lifting hoists available. So, all toilets are located, ground floor, first floor, uh, in this sort of equivalent pre-function area uh, on both floors, and the lifting hoists are also on both floors. Okie dokie. Every effort has been made to cater for all the support needs that we were made aware of and attendant care is going to be available on both days and they'll be wearing a sexy blue sash instead. So if you see one of those, that's who you're looking for. Now during the conference and the conference drinks, photographs may be taken of anyone who's here. Now our photographer, his name is Evan Munro-Smith. Now Evan, where are you? Can you give us a wave? There he is at the back there. Um, so these photographs might be used by the Youth Affairs Council of Victoria white ass our newsletters and websites if you have any concerns regarding that or you don't wish your photo to be published in any way please let Evan know we're more than willing to work with that so lunch morning and afternoon tea will be served in the pre-function foyers on the ground floor and the first floor to save everybody trying to get back to one place Every effort we've made to cater for all the special dietary requirements that we were made aware of, if you provided a dietary request, please make yourself known to the catering staff at the various times that we'll be providing food and they'll be able to get you a special meal. Catering staff will also have a full list of those who provided us uh, with special dietary requirements, so if you decide to be vego just for the day, we're not going to fall for it. All right, um, your name badge is your entry to all plenary sessions, which means the big ones in here the workshops and the other presentations, lunches, morning and afternoon tea. Now, some of you may remember all those times in your primary school experience that were ruined by the no hat, no play rule. So you can think of it today as the no badge, no cake rule. 
So don't let that spoil the conference for you. Keep your badge on at all times. Where's my badge? <laughs> George doesn't have his badge. Um, no cake for you, George. Um, Delegates uh, who paid to attend the conference drinks tonight from 5 till 7 will have a star sticker on their name badge. You can think of that as your ticket to get in. So again, make sure you bring your badge. And the drinks will be held today from, as I said, from 5 to 7 in the gallery on the first floor here. Now, here's the important one. Please ensure that your phone is off or on silent, and there's all the fidgeting, during presentations and workshops and plenary sessions. Now, when I say silent, I mean really actually silent. As appropriate as it might seem in the sexuality sessions, we don't want a background of vibrations going on, okay? <laughs> now, our social media team will be constantly updating our social, me social media pages over the next two days. We'd love to interact with you uh, throughout the conference via our Facebook and Twitter pages. We try to be cool, we'll see how we go. Um, the links are facebook.com slash nydconference and twitter.com slash nydconference getting ahead of myself, aren't I? Um, okay, please use the hashtag, hashtag NYDC12, the 12 is important, uh, to interact with us. So that's all the jabbering from me for a minute. So to officially open the conference, I'd like now to welcome my boss, George Teleporis, who is the manager of the Youth Disability Advocacy Service. Please be nice to him because I want to keep my job. Thank you, George. <laughs> One, two. Oh, I love hover. Oh. Yeah, it's got a hovercraft going on. Yeah, it's got a... You hold it further away from the mic. All right. It's got a hovercraft going on. All right. Everyone hear me? Yep, yep. Hey, everyone. Hi, Hi. Hi. I haven't slept since August. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good to see all of your beautiful faces in this room. Thank you so much for coming. Senator Firefield, Parliamentary Secretary Andrea Coot, uh, Youth Affairs Council of Victoria CEO, Kat Colvin, Young People with Disabilities and our allies from across the country, welcome to the first ever National Youth Disability Conference. Applause. <laughs> I won't be prompting for applause again. Please applaud when you think it's appropriate. <laughs> I want to acknowledge everyone's efforts in being here today. Uh, we know that there are people who have come from as far as Cal Cooley in WA. Um, where's our WA people? Can you wave at me? WA? And to all of you who've arrived um, by aeroplane and have your wheelchairs and your mobility aids intact, congratulations. <laughs> That's quite an achievement. We decided to stage the conference because we believe that young people with disabilities have something important to say, and we want government and decision makers to hear their voices loud and clear. Applause. <laughs> we know that young people with disabilities continue to be disadvantaged in a range of areas, including education and employment, and uh, in support services. And we believe that there is a need for a national voice, and that is what we're here to work on. We know and we believe that a national voice for young people with disabilities needs to be heard as distinct, yet just as important as the voice of parents and carers. We want young people with disabilities and our allies to unite across the country to fight for the common issues that we face, whether that be access to support, employment, education, or housing. Together, we can advocate stronger 
smarter and harder. We believe that the disability rights movement needs young people with disabilities to come forward with their youthful passion, their fresh approach, and their abundant energy to express advocacy, fearless advocacy, that will make real change for people with disabilities throughout the nation today and into the future. So please, make the most of this opportunity. Talk to people that you've never met before and share your vision and your aspiration. And most of all, remember that social change is about all of us working together for a fairer and more equitable world. Welcome and enjoy.